In this simulation, we have an ice bath, a balance, two beakers and a watch glass, a hot plate, two graduated cylinders, filter paper, a Buckner funnel, and a glass stirring rod. On our shelf, we have aluminum foil, potassium hydroxide, sulfuric acid, and some water. To begin our synthesis experiment, we can obtain aluminum from our foil by clicking on it and choosing a length that will give us one gram of aluminum. This will place the aluminum in the left beaker. We can obtain our potassium hydroxide by clicking on it and then selecting the graduated cylinder to choose a specific volume. Use your arrow keys to increase or decrease the desired volume. Once added, the aluminum will begin to dissolve and this will take about a minute. Place a watch glass on the beaker by clicking on the watch glass. Once dissolved, you can place the filter paper on the Buckner funnel by clicking on it. Then you can remove the watch glass and transfer your beaker contents to the funnel. Once your sample has been filtered, you can transfer the filtrate to a clean beaker by clicking on the filtrate. Then move the beaker to an ice bath to cool for one minute. When your sample is done cooling, you can move it to the hot plate by clicking on it. You can turn on the stirring rod by clicking the appropriate button on the front of the hot plate. At this point, you can obtain the appropriate amount of sulfuric acid by clicking on the bottle and then the graduated cylinder. Again, you can use your arrow keys to select the appropriate volume. Now you can turn on the heat by clicking the red button on the hot plate to let your sample come to a boil. Once the boil is complete, you can place your beaker on the bench top to cool slightly before immersing it in an ice bath. While your sample is cooling in the ice bath, you can initiate the crystallization process by scratching on the beaker with a glass stirring rod. This can be done either by clicking the appropriate place on the beaker or by clicking the glass stirring rod directly. After cooling is complete, you can turn on your balance to obtain the mass of a watch glass and a new piece of filter paper. After noting that mass, you can place the filter paper on the Buckner funnel by clicking on it. Then you can place your sample on the filter paper by clicking on the beaker in the ice bath. This will initiate the filtration process, which will take about two minutes. Once complete, you can move the filter paper containing your crystals to the watch glass and weigh them again to obtain your final mass.